Sana Gold, owner of Boston Body, here with Gabby Smith, one of our Pilates instructors. For this week's Pilates Fitness Secrets, we're going to go into killer oblique crisscrosses for the best results. Over twisting in the obliques and not having proper form can really prevent you from getting the results you want and it can feel so difficult that you end up cheating your way through it. So for today, I'll give you my secrets, Pilates style, for killer crisscrosses that are gonna get you results and make your back feel nice and released. We'll start by lying down. The first step, starting with your regular ab curl. So Gabby, hands behind the head and just start rocking up and just a slight bit down for ab curls. During our first step in the oblique crisscrosses, we want to find symmetry left to right. Remember the three things we covered during our ab curls, curving from the ribs, skinning up the waistline with exhale, pulling in the lowest abs. Once you have that first step down, let's stay curved up. Here is where the problem sometimes arises. Twist towards me, elbow to knee, and stop for just a moment. Stop in your first rep and make sure that these oblique muscles are being worked. These are the muscles on the side of the torso. The problem, and let's lift and twist to the other side and keep that repetition going. The problem when you do oblique work is often you focus on the twisting and twist too much, where really it's just about engaging those oblique muscles. The third step in your killer crisscrosses for results is keeping your torso long. So the area between your ribs and your hips, keep that as long as possible. So come up to the center and let's take a little breath. Inhale and exhale and bring your head up again. Bring your knees to your chest and now we'll combine our leg movement. So twist elbow, to the knee and lift to twist to the other side. Again, we want to remember our three steps for proper form. We have our symmetry and ab connection that we got with our regular ab curl. During the twisting movement, Gabby is going to focus on the obliques, not on how much she twists. And number three, let's keep our torso long by using the muscles in the front and the back of our body to keep the greatest distance between ribs and hips. I think we've got results with that. <laughs> and knees to the chest, come on down. Thank you for joining me for today's Pilates Fitness Secrets. We're gonna get great obliques by following our three secrets for proper Pilates form.